The ebb and flow of Jordan Lasley's UCLA career began before he caught his first college pass. The receiver missed the first week of his first training camp for an unspecified violation of team rules, the start of a lengthy list of transgressions. Lasley's most recent suspension cost the junior three games but might have been worthwhile if it represented a turning point. He made a triumphant return last week against Arizona State. Not playing with my team, not being out there to help my teammates, it was devastating, Lasley acknowledged after catching seven passes for a career-high 162 yards during the Bruins' 44-37 victory over the Sun Devils. Lastly said he spent the three weeks kind of like rehabilitating after being held out for a disciplinary matter that coach Jim Mora would not divulge. There were discussions with his parents, player development coordinator Roman Pfeiffer and himself. I'm a very self-critical, self-observant type of person, Lastly said, and I knew what I needed to do to come back and help my team in an effective way. Scott Altenberg, Lastly's coach at Gardena Sarah High said he knew Lasley was in trouble recently when he showed up at his alma mater's homecoming instead of accompanying the Bruins to Seattle for their game against Washington. Altenberg was familiar with Lasley's troublesome ways, recalling a player who could be too mouthy in practice and drew penalties from officials for over-exuberance. He was always kind of a three steps forward, two steps back kind of guy, Altenberg said. Tremendous athlete, a lot of personality but every now and then would make a decision not so smart. He's not a bad kid, he just made some choices and made it harder on himself. Lastly also showed his former coach his thoughtful side by showing up to help out at a youth camp on a weeknight on three occasions even though Altenberg had asked him to come only once. Mora has remained fiercely protective of Lastly, saying he only wants the best for a player who has repeatedly stumbled. I have a strong affinity for Jordan, Mora said. I feel like I understand Jordan and I pull for Jordan and Jordan's a good young man who has had some struggles, but just over the last three weeks, the attitude that he's demonstrated, the accountability that he's demonstrated, the care and concern, I've just seen a change in him. David Warden It rates among the greatest plays in the history of the USC UCLA football rivalry. And it never should have happened. The underdog Bruins were backed up against their goal line with the score tied and time running down. They had John Barnes, a walk-on quarterback, under center. I probably should. It rates among the greatest plays in the history of the USC UCLA football rivalry. And it never should have happened. The underdog Bruins were backed up against their goal line with the score tied and time running down. They had John Barnes, a walk-on quarterback, under center. I probably should. David Warden. Morris said his decision about Lasley's reinstatement came before UCLA's game against Utah on November 3, when receiver Darren Andrews was lost for the season with a serious knee injury. The Bruins were already without tight end Caleb Wilson, one of their other top receiving threats, who required season-ending surgery after being injured against Colorado on September 30. Lastly did not start against Arizona State last week but lived up to his Twitter handle, at Legendary Lastly, in the second quarter when he caught a 59-yard pass from quarterback Josh Rosen. He also caught a 22-yard touchdown pass on a crossing route for the go-ahead score in the fourth quarter. Rosen jogged toward Lastly after the play, patting him on the helmet in celebration. He's explosive, a great personality in the locker room motivating, Rosen said. Love him as a friend and it was good to have him. The 6-foot-1, 210-pound Lastly gives the Bruins afterburner speed and the elusiveness to make plays after the catch, though he is also somewhat prone to drops. He has caught 39 passes for 705 yards and 4 touchdowns this season and is tied for the Pac-12 conference lead with 4 100-yard receiving games despite having played in only 6, he also set out the Hawaii game for unspecified reasons. Some of Lasley's indiscretions are known. There was the spring practice scuffle with a defensive back in 2015 that led to Lasley's dismissal from practice. There was the team bus he missed the day before a game against Arizona last season, leading to his suspension against the Wildcats. Ben Bolch Trick question, what does UCLA offensive coordinator Jed Fish call the double reverses, 
flea flickers and game-winning fake spike that the Bruins have unveiled this season? They're just plays to him, though they certainly have been tricky to defend. UCLA went to one on the second play against. Trick question, what does UCLA offensive coordinator Jed Fish call the double reverses, flea flickers and game-winning fake spike that the Bruins have unveiled this season? They're just plays to him, though they certainly have been tricky to defend. UCLA went to one on the second play against. Ben Bolch. Lastly was also arrested twice in 2016, according to the Los Angeles City Attorney's Office. The first arrest was for possession of alcohol as a minor, the second was for presenting a fake ID at a Hollywood club. Lastly satisfied all obligations in the former matter through a diversion program and no charges were filed in the latter incident. Lastly said after the game against Arizona State that he continued to contemplate self-improvement during his most recent suspension. Trying to find myself a little bit, humbling myself a little bit, practicing a little bit, Lastly said. Coach Mora just gave me some time to reflect on myself and reflect on my actions and see how they affect the team and see how they affect even myself. Lastly's return in time for UCLA's rivalry game against No. 11 USC on Saturday at the Coliseum has energized Altenberg, a former Bruins walk-on. I'm fired up because I'm a UCLA guy and I know he gives us the best chance to move the ball, Altenberg said. I try to keep track of him as much as anyone because I know what he can do and with him it's just about keep going and be smart. HTML body article aside details fig caption figure footer header group NAV section summary DLDD DTIMG display, block, margin, zero, padding, zero, head style dot galleries after content, display, block, background color, number FF5443, margin, 16px auto zero, height, 5px, width, 100px, dot galleries before content, sports videos, display, block, font, 723px slash 25px Belizeo Georgia, droid serif serif, text align, center, color, number 1e1e1e, dash, caption. The time Sam Farmer and Lindsay Theory discuss the Rams' tough road ahead after they defeated the Houston Texans on Sunday to improve to 7-2. The time Sam Farmer and Lindsay Theory discuss the Rams' tough road ahead after they defeated the Houston Texans on Sunday to improve to 7-2. Caption The time Sam Farmer and Lindsay Theory discuss the Rams' tough road ahead after they defeated the Houston Texans on Sunday to improve to 7-2. The time Sam Farmer and Lindsay Theory discuss the Rams' tough road ahead after they defeated the Houston Texans on Sunday to improve to 7-2. Caption 3 UCLA basketball players, back home in Los Angeles, discuss their detention in China after being accused of shoplifting. 3 UCLA basketball players, back home in Los Angeles, discuss their detention in China after being accused of shoplifting. Caption the Times' Bill Plasky, Gary Klein, and Lindsay Theory break down the Rams' 33-7 victory over the Houston Texans on Sunday at the Coliseum. The Rams improved to 7-2. The Times' Bill Plasky, Gary Klein, and Lindsay Theory break down the Rams' 33-7 victory over the Houston Texans on Sunday at the Coliseum. The Rams improved to 7-2. Caption The 2017 Breeders' Cup is underway in Del Mar and open to a packed house. The 2017 Breeders' Cup is underway in Del Mar, and open to a packed house. Caption Chargers quarterback Philip Rivers speaks about the dominant Jaguars' defense. Chargers quarterback Philip Rivers speaks about the dominant Jaguars' defense. Ben.Bolch at LATimes.com Follow Ben Bolch on Twitter at LatBolch.